Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Have you ever heard you in life? Because you said your people were passionate, right? But my foot community. Give them uh -huh. grace. I know I hear you. Right. 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 You see, I didn't, so, I didn't know he was with right. y'all. And that's what we out here for. We ain't out here just no black man on the corner going crazy. We ain't the Black Panthers. We ain't no, no black Hebrew Israelites. You, like. you see, speaking truth. Right, and, and, but the thing about us speaking truth, is you understand that it's truth, right? So what you gonna do with that truth? I, I'm doing better with my truth. No, you gotta do something else. Give me Acts 319. Because you, you know what, what's gonna make it so bad is the fact you said that your people were pastors, hey. you know something about the Bible, right? So what does the Bible say? If you know better, what come with that? More strikes, right? So you know that the scriptures tell you that you're supposed to be wearing your fringes. Have you read that in the Bible? When you read the Bible, God, when you read, okay, well, according to the Bible, God had a chosen people. When you read the scriptures from beginning to end, first he chose Adam. When Adam was in the earth, it was other people in the earth, but he chose Adam. Let me ask you another question. When Noah was in the, you heard about Noah, right? When Noah was in the earth, did God choose Noah? God chose Noah, right? He saved Noah. Was it other people in the earth? Yeah. What we're trying to get to the show is that you, that Noah, meaning God chose you. That's right. When you look at that sign right there, look at that sign right there. When you look at the Bible, you had Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. Those sons today call themselves Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Mexicans, African Americans, Jamaicans, Haitians. But according to the Bible, we the bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. We ain't no Puerto Rican. We ain't no Dominican, no black African American. Because what you say your nationality was? I want you to go Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican, what does that mean? Well, I'm technically a Puerto Rican. A who? Puerto Rican born in Chicago. Okay, Puerto, Puerto Rican. But what does Puerto Rican mean? Puerto Rican means. What, like the name of hell? Yeah, like because you in, remember a, a rich port. You know we ask a lot of Puerto Ricans about that and they don't even know what that means. No, so hey, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. I'm going to salute you on that because we ask Puerto Ricans that a million times. What does Puerto Rican mean? I don't know. It means a rich port. So what you got to ask yourself now is why are you saying your nationality is a rich port? A rich port is a thing, not a people. Yeah, right. So what, before y'all were labeled, before y'all were labeled a rich port, who were y'all? And that's what we are here to show you. And that's what we are here to show you. Watch this. Let me show you something. Watch this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. You said you were slaves? Way back in the day. Okay. Look at that right there. That's documented in the Bible. Stay with me for a second. We're going to show you that everything you're saying is documented in the Bible. But the thing that I want you to understand is that it's the special people that God was talking about. It wasn't everybody in the world that God was talking about. He was talking about you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites. That's right. When you read the Bible, we are the bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But I ask you a question. You understand that a rich port is not a people, right? It's a thing. Watch what the Bible says. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it The ox know of his owner. So God said an ox know of his owner. An ox know who his owner is, meaning if I go up to an ox, I can push the ox, tell it to do something, it's not going to do it. Watch what God say about you. Does not know. God says we don't know who our owner is or where our land is. Read. My people. God says my people. My people. Now read, read, read that part again. My people. God says my people. The Bible was never given to all people. 
the Bible was taken from us and retaught to us in slavery. But you know what they taught us? The Bible teaches that Christ looked like that. Look right there. Dark skin, woolly hair. That's what the Bible says. You read the Bible, skin like bronze as if it was burnt in the furnace. So who is that white man? That's what was taught to us in slavery. That's what was taught to us in slavery. But the thing about knowing it is, you know it, it's going to make it worse for you when God visits you. Because you know better. You're not like no guy out here that never heard the Bible, never read it. You understand the scriptures and you understand that God is real, right? So God said that my people, you, you remember that? My people, that's possession. Read. But Israel doth not know. My God says his people don't know. Read. My people doth not consider. And they don't consider. Let me ask you a question. You know what God says his people don't consider? All these, how long have you known that Puerto Rican just mean rich poor? Oh, for a long time. Yeah, a long time. Out of all that time that you they say, my people does not what? My people does not consider. All that time that you knew Puerto Rican meant rich poor, you never considered, how the hell is my nationality a rich poor? Bring it up. No, like me, if you line up, I could line up five black, my, my whole life, I just thought I was a real nigga. My whole life, I just thought I was black. That's the color, your shirt is black, I'm brown. Right. I thought I was African American. They told me I was a nigga, a Negro. And they told you, see, and you thought that he was that black? Because why? God says his people don't even consider. All these years you knew that Puerto Rican meant rich poor, and you never even considered. What does that even mean? Like me, I'm gonna use my son as example. I never even went out. When they told me on the paper, you want a job, tell us your nationality. I'm circling blacks. I never even considered. Wait, that's just the color. That's not a people. Right. That's what we're trying to get you to see. You are those people according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Deuteronomy 28. I always had problems with those, like, filling that out. You always have problems with what? Like, filling those out, like. Yeah, because it don't feel right. Like, really? Like, speaking and I just asked your sister that. Why matter, first You gotta ask yourself, why, why do they label us Black, Hispanic, Native American? Right. What's the difference between it? It's no different. It's just a slave name that was put on you. But you made a statement earlier. You said before, years ago, before you called yourself Puerto Rican, you were slaves, right? I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Read. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God is speaking to the Israelites. You ever read about Moses? Moses, what did Moses do? I'm asking. He got a lot of things. But what was the main thing he known uh, for? Part of the and he delivered who? The, uh, all the Israelites. The Israelites. You know who those Israelites he delivered? Our forefathers. That's right. Those are our forefathers. The same way our forefathers built up this land is the same way we built those pyramids in Africa. That's right. We ain't no African. African and so-called Negroes are two different people. We are related. That's we not right. related to no African. The black and Hispanic man, we the same people. That's right. We not the same people with no Africans. Right. Those not our people. Yeah. I just wanted to make that clear, because I know we dark skinned, but we not no Africans. That's right. We the same people. Read. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God said, you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. When we came out of Egypt, Moses told us, if y'all don't listen to God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. If you don't listen to God and do his commandments, because guess what? Moses didn't deliver the world out of Egypt. That's right. Moses delivered a specific people out of Egypt. That's the right. same way we're going to de get delivered from this Egypt is the same way we got delivered from that Egypt in the past. Right. What we are here trying to do is to get you on that side of deliverance. Right. Just be coming to this place. A lot of our people walk by, don't give a damn. It is what it is. But the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, they going to know that God is real. They going to know that they, get, they was God's chosen. They are God's chosen. Excuse me. It ain't gonna change nothing whether they hear or forbid. Judgment coming to this place. People think that they over here looking, I keep seeing this sign. Oh, I can't wait for 2021. I can't wait. If the year changed, the judgment ain't gonna change. You still gonna have coronavirus. You still gonna have babies getting killed. You still gonna have our people getting kidnapped. The year changing don't mean nothing. If you don't change, it's gonna continue to happen. That's right. Read. Hey, his statutes, which I command thee this day. So God told us, we got to keep this commandment. You wonder why judgment is happening to the so-called black and Hispanic man? It's because we sin against God. The white man going around here destroying everything that he sees, taking every land that he sees. Why is it that they not in chains living on street corners? Why is it our people? 
We're not dropping bombs on no Japanese people. We're not going over there and dropping bombs in Iraq. So why is it that God is allowing us on these, to be on these street corners? Our people are sleeping on street corners. They don't even know they're the gods to the earth. Our people out here drunk, high, out their mind. Don't even realize the royalty that they are. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Let me ask you a question. What's all those skull and bones about? What's the skulls about? I like Halloween. You like Halloween? <laughs> Not discriminate. Well, but you like Halloween? I kind of consider these my brothers and this me. You, got, you can't do that. You know what that's called? That's called idolatry. Right. You want to? Nah, nah. Let me ask you a question. I'm not huh? I know, but you have, but you saying stuff like that so the idolatry. You wearing that? A lot of Northern American people use that as uh, what's that called? Uh, Dia do Muerte. Or oh, yeah, what's some yeah, more yeah. that Spanish makes? I mean, no, I'm not like that. Native American death stuff. I mean, like the, the Puerto Rican art. death stuff. Santo Domingo and all of that stuff. De la Muerte. De la Muerte. That stuff. Yeah. That's what you know. What comes with that? Spirits come with that. You know what else came with that? Slavery. Because yeah, us following that, idols. But that's only if you believe in that. If so what do you have that all for? It's like voodoo and all that stuff. That because I asked you, I said, what is that about? That you said it's my brother. With it, only for the simple fact that they believe in it so much. Okay, what is, mind. what do you have that on for? Because I'm just because saying. it's an art thing. It's an art. Okay, so you like art. Yeah. So I just want to help you understand because you said it was your brother, your cousin. We can't, we no, can't move like that. Three brothers and me. You say what? My three brothers and me. Those are your three brothers. Well, that's how you look at it, right? No. no. Not that I'm one of them. Hey. No, I'm not. <laughs> what I'm trying to get you to understand is the idolatry in it. It's the idolatry in it. With the reason why we in I captivity I'm now. Keep it slow. But it's a thing that I got. It's, it's nothing image. but an image. It's a graven image. No, it's a graven image. image. But what I'm trying to get you to understand is following stuff like that. The white Jesus honoring the cross, doing all of this stuff. That's the reason why we're in slavery now. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, but I don't do it for those reasons. I just do it as an artistic point of view for myself. I don't do it for Is that the will of God? Mm -hmm. Colossians 2 and 8. Let me show you something real quick. Watch this. It's the book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceits. Do what? Vain deceits. Yeah. Philosophy and vain deceits. You know what that philosophy is? It's what you just said. These skull and bones is my brother. Because a lot of our... I say that as a I don't say it as an idol or anything. Okay, so you don't worry. Okay, so go back to the right But basically the point I'm trying to get you to understand. The reason why we in slavery and getting judged is because we put things before God. We go against this. This Bible gave us a way of life to live. The Bible gave us a way of life to live. And because we go against this, is the reason why people get gunned down in the street. The reason why people are sleeping on the street. Because we focus on the wrong thing. The Bible says we should be focused on serving God and keeping His commandments. You know that, right? You say what? It can be a twist to that. What's the twist? If you twist it into a positive aspect. You lost it. Okay. Like I said, I like art. I do art. Right. This is art. But if you spin it around, it be so bad. This would be messy. Okay, okay, got it. In the more hot. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God says, if you don't listen to me, read. To observe to do all his commandments and do what I command you to do. Let me ask you a question. What's some commandments? Some commandments. Give me some commandments. Thou not kill, thou not kill, thou not Uh, what else? Uh, so you giving me the Ten Commandments? Well, you can do some commandments. Right, right, right. Let me, let me ask you a question. <laughs> do, you under, do you know that there's more than Ten Commandments in the Bible? I believe so. You believe so? Okay, let me ask you a question. You ever read about the Sabbath? When is the Sabbath? The seventh day of the week, right? According to the Bible. Okay. I was, I was Pentecost. Well, I was raised Pentecost. So that's like, it might be a little different. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. So you was raised, you 
you raised with the Bible, but it was taught to you a whole nother way. Right. Old schools. Okay, we got it. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to return to understand the real understanding of the Bible and turn it to you. Bring so it up. When you read the Bible, it's a history book. The Bible just be biblios, records. It's a record of your forefathers. The so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Christ, King David, King Solomon. Yeah. These is your people. Yeah. These is real men that walk on this earth. Those is your people. Yeah, I got it on my phone. Okay, so what the Bible is telling you is the history of the Bible. The history of this book is telling you if you don't keep God's commandments, it's a judgment that come behind you. That's what the whole book is about. Read. But it shall come to bear if thou were not hunking unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So you got to come back to God's law. You with me? And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get you to come back to God's laws. Read really. To observe, to do all his commandments. Half of them. Oh, his commandments. Ten of them. Oh, his commandments. So God said we must keep his commandments. Okay, the King James, that's good. So and when you get a chance, read Deuteronomy 28, and you're going to see your history in there. That's what we're showing you now. God say if you don't, listen to what I'm telling you. God say if you don't keep his commandments, there's a judgment behind you. Read. And his statue. Which I command thee this day. Read. Then all these curses. All these what? Curses. Let me ask you a question. When you look at the so-called black Hispanic and Native American man, just here in Chicago, do we look like the cursed people? Yeah. 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 Read that again. Hey, it's good statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now I said, if you Israelites don't keep my commandments, you're gonna be cursed. You're gonna be cursed as a people. Let me show you some of these curses. Read. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Where? In the city. What is another name for Chicago? They call it the what? They call it the what? The city. Read that again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So just like you stated, God, the Bible stated God, his people will be cursed in the city if they break his commandments. Look at our people. We got babies getting killed. We got babies getting killed. Is, is, is that not a curse? Is that not a curse? God says his people yeah. are going to be cursed. Read. Hey, curse shall thou be in the field. You know what it means to be cursed in the field? I'm going to ask you. Because you know some history because I asked you who are your people before he said slaves. So what does it mean to be cursed in the field? Give me some examples. You say what? Where is the majority of so-called Mexicans? Where, where are they at? Working where? And a lot of them in fields. When the so-called black man came over here in slavery, where did they send us to? The cotton fields? It wasn't just a black man they sent to the cotton fields. They sent your people into the fruit fields. That's why right. picking tobacco, picking uh -huh. oranges, uh -huh. picking strawberries, That's right. picking pie, all of that stuff. Uh -huh. Cursed that be where? In the field. Our people are cursed in the field. Cursed picking cotton. Cursed picking fruit. And the white man over here talking about deport them. Deport them. Get them out of here. The white man ain't gonna go pick no fruit though. He ain't gonna go get in that field where our people at. And that's why they keep us over here. They love to say, go back to your land. Get out of here, go back to Mexico. Go to Puerto Rico. They had a tropical storm in Puerto Rico. Is Puerto Rico a part of America? Thank you, guy. So why is it that America didn't come and help Puerto Rico? Check it out. Right. You know why? Because they're full of shit. It ain't because they're full of shit. <laughs> it's because, give me verse 46. Watch this. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy sea forever. Yeah, ask the question. Puerto Rico is supposed to be part of America. Why didn't they help Puerto Rico though? Yeah. Donald Trump is on camera over here throwing two paper towels. In the video of when they got hit with the first thing? Yeah, and they got them back. The whole they land destroyed. They had a whole warehouse filled full with of water. Tank. Full of water, water and didn't do nothing. Baby. And didn't do nothing with it. So, so the thing that I'm trying to get you to understand is what does God say about that? Watch this. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of hearts. God allowed that to happen. Do you understand that? 
That's what we're trying to get you Hispanics and Native Americans and blacks to understand. God is allowing all of this judgment to happen. He allowing all of it to happen. He allowing the Mexicans to begin to put in ice, to get deported. Right. He allowing mothers and fathers to be taken away from their children. God is allowing all of this. God is allowing all of this. He allowing all of it. You know why? Because our people are evil as hell. Are evil. You got babies being taken away from their parents and put in cages. So-called Mexicans are being put in cages right now and y'all out here gang babies. Used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.